Well, two people have been arrested and are facing charges after authorities discovered a mushroom growing operation in home in Chatfield. ABC 6 News reporter Mackenzie Davis spoke to law enforcement today about the raid and the dangers of this particular drug. Investigators with the Olmsted County Sheriff's Office say they have definitely seen an uptick in mushroom and psychedelic controlled substance sales, and they say they're not too hard to come by right now. There's a lot of it out there. It's easy to pick up. In fact, they gave examples and, and kind of showed me where they're finding it in the open air market on like Snapchat. I mean, it's that easy. So it's not like they're really trying to hide it either when you throw something out on Snapchat and, and probably other social media platforms. Olmsted County Sheriff's Office says the last grow operation in our area was in Stewartville back in February of 2020, but there have been cases of sales since then. Street value of what was seized in Chatfield Thursday could run anywhere from $12,000 to $15,000 or more. Well, it's pretty serious. It's lumped in, statute wise, it's lumped in the same as amphetamine, PCP. Uh, cocaine, methamphetamine, so the psychedelic drugs, um, hallucinogens, which is what these are, uh, they're grouped into that same category. The other health risk that goes along with these mushrooms is the process of growing them. Because of the spores and the mold, um, you know, both are can be, can be deadly, let's be honest about it. Investigators say the GROW operation has been ongoing for a while here, but a treatment center in Rochester has not seen an uptick in patients seeking treatment just yet. In treatment, we're actually kind of a lagging indicator of what the, of what the current trend is. And so we'll probably be seeing that in the coming months. Um, I do know that we've had a number of applications, even in the last couple of days, that are based upon uh, mushroom and LSD addictions. Tom says drugs do somewhat cycle. That can ebb and, and flow. So right now, uh, we're not seeing a lot in the mushroom or in the uh, hallucinogen camp, but that's not to say if it is uh, having a rise in growing that we won't in the next few weeks, months. Mackenzie Davis, ABC6 News. Kenzie, thank you. 23-year-old Austin Dahl and 23-year-old Caitlin Felker are facing several drug charges, including first-degree controlled substance sales and possession.